Welcome everybody, welcome back to Homestead Heart. Today we are getting ready to harvest the remainder of my Tabasco peppers, you all. These peppers are absolutely beautiful. And if you ask me, these peppers are award winning. <laughs> they are so gorgeous, right? Just look at them. They just beautiful peppers. I'm gonna turn y'all around so y'all can get a look at these beautiful, beautiful Homestead Heart Tabasco peppers. They are so beautiful, you all. I'm gonna start harvesting these and then I'm gonna talk to you all about why I let them stay on the plants as long as I do. And we're gonna make some pepper sauce. So y'all, let me show you these peppers. Oh, they just beautiful. Y'all look at these beautiful Tabasco peppers. This is one of the last crops that I have. I have one more pepper plant to take care of, but just look at these peppers, y'all. Just look at the range of colors that's on these pepper plants as well. We have so many beautiful colors. We have the green peppers here and they're turning purplish looking, right? We have the bright red peppers here. We have the greenish yellowish peppers here. Oh, we even have a few orange peppers here. We have so many different colors of Tabasco peppers as they change from green to red. Green is that initial color, right? That beautiful pale light green is that initial color, right? But then as they start to turn, they go through all these different phases of color changes until they get to, you know, blind as a bat red, right? <laughs> they get to that bright, bright red. So they go through all different phases of color and I leave them on the plants for this reason, okay? So it's about to be cold in the morning. We're gonna be down in the 30s and I absolutely must get all of these beautiful Tabasco peppers off of these plants, y'all. So let's go ahead and take care of these peppers. All right, you all, so I'm out here just sitting with this plant. I have been taking my time with these peppers. I have a few pepper plants over here that I've kind of leaned down because I don't want to harvest those for preserving. All of those peppers that I have on the ground over here, and I think I have one plant right here as well. I am going to be using those peppers to collect the seeds. So I'm just literally going to snap that entire plant out of here and keep it separate from these and I'll just be taking it up with me and just picking those off. I'm gonna get them out of this cold weather, <laughs> but I am gonna take them up with me. And tomorrow sometimes, if I have time, I'm not in a rush to take the seeds out. The seeds can hang out inside of those peppers and they will be just fine, okay? But every pepper over there is red. Some of them are very soft. So those are the perfect peppers for saving seeds from. Although these are red, they're still very, very firm and none of them are soft. These are all very, very firm. And so these are the ones that I'll be saving to use in my pepper sauce and perhaps another recipe if I can find the time to do another recipe, okay? So literally you all, what I am doing, I mean, these plants are so beautiful. Have you ever grown something that was just so beautiful to look at that you didn't want to touch it? Well, this is one of those for me. <laughs> These peppers are just absolutely just, they're just stunning. And I have been admiring these peppers for a long time. This is October 16th, right? October 16th is the day 2024 and you know it's late <laughs> taking these out of the garden but it's okay long as there's no frost on them 
I leave them and I allow all these beautiful colors to form because they look so wonderful in a jar, right? So you all, I'm just going to, and I have a bucket right here because I've already been harvesting these peppers. So I have my bucket right here. And I even decided to grab some scissors because I didn't want to take any chances on, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so all I'm going to do, literally, you all, ooh, I don't know if this is going to work. But anyway, I'm just going through with my scissors here. And instead of picking them all off, like one by one off of the plant, I'm literally just taking my scissors. And when I cut, I'm cutting like four of them at the same time. And they just fall into my bucket, except for those, they fell on the ground. But let me show you. Okay, so I'm just taking them off here like so. And they're just falling into my bucket. And this is like four peppers right here. And they're all just falling in as I clip them all out of there. No fancy way of doing it, but this is how, see those falling? Yeah, so there's no fancy way of doing it. And you can see it's a lot of peppers on there. And instead of picking them off one by one, I'm just cutting off about four of them at a time. And they all just fall in the bucket. And that's gonna spare my little hands. And any leaves that fall in, I'll just take them out, pick them out when I get in the house. But all five of these peppers are falling into the bucket. And that's done. Oh, here's one. And that's it. Harvest it. Now, these cute little pepper plants, the leaves and whatnot, I'm just going to take these and I will just uh, put these over in my compost pile. That's pretty much all I'm going to do with these. I got a little stack right there and over there too. So, that's all I'm going to be doing. But I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of these peppers harvested so we can talk pepper sauce, okay? Mr. H ate one of these the other day and unfortunately <laughs> it was much hotter than what he thought it was going to be. <laughs> this year I grew, this year I grew six pepper plants, six pepper plants, six Tabasco pepper plants rather. I grew six of them and the good thing about growing so many is that for me i won't have to grow these again for three or four years right this is the one crop that i don't have to deal with all the time the reason being is if i make pepper sauce when i show you how to make it these peppers will last for years in that jar in the same jar <laughs> they will last a very long long time okay so yeah harvesting my tabasco peppers and tabasco peppers primarily used for tabasco sauce of course but also pepper sauce because pepper sauce is just one of those, gosh, it's like a, it's like a Southern classic, right? That you use on chicken, on fish. It's known for being used on greens, you know? Like when I was growing up, my mom, my aunt, my grandma, and I, I used to always see them use the hot pepper sauce on their greens no matter what kind of greens it was 
they was always using the pepper sauce on greens. I liked it on cabbage and I loved it on chicken and fried fish and pepper sauce just made it taste so good, right? So knowing how to make pepper sauce, y'all, look, I don't think you would be disappointed if you made yourself some pepper sauce. So if you're not familiar with pepper sauce, I hope that you all will tune in to my video where I am going to be taking you step by step on making your very own homemade pepper sauce and you can make enough to share as well, right? There's no way I'm going to need all of this. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to be needing all of this. So yeah, I got to make, uh, I'm going to make a jar big enough for my mom because my mama, she would enjoy this, you know. So I'm going to make a jar big enough for mama and uh, so she can have pepper sauce too. And it'll be all natural ingredients. It's not going to have yellow five in it or red 40 <laughs> like what you may see in some. Now, there's a brand that we used to buy. I don't think it had, gosh, I don't remember the name. It's, it's a few different brands. I know one is a Louisiana brand and I don't recall it having all those chemicals in it. You know, Ben, it's been a long time since I purchased it, but I don't recall it having all of those additives in it, especially unnecessarily because you don't need additives for pepper sauce. You really don't. By the time you get done putting this away, it will preserve well, okay? It will be very nice pepper. I mean, you don't need any additional chemicals, okay? So if you don't want the yellow five and the red 40, then grow your own Tabasco peppers. Harvest your own Tabasco peppers and make your own Tabasco sauce and your own pepper sauce. And you'll have my recipes that you can follow, right? Now, keep in mind, there are a lot of different recipes out there. Now, traditionally, pepper sauce is made with Tabasco peppers, but you do have people that will make them with cayenne pepper, um, jalapeno peppers. You can make a pepper sauce with just about any kind of pepper, spicy pepper, right? but the traditional pepper sauce is made with tabasco and if you ask me the flavor using tabasco peppers is unmatched <laughs> why else would i grow them it's unmatched you know I, I grow lots of jalapenos everybody knows this right you see that plant behind me that's my homestead heart mini pino pepper plant and I'm going to show y'all that in the very next video. It'll be a little short video, but I want you to show, I want to show y'all this, right? I'm so excited about this pepper plant. Ah, oh, can't wait to show, share it with you, okay? <laughs> I've been working on some. <laughs> so, you all, I just wanted to share this with you. Just kind of take you along with me while I harvest my Tabasco peppers. Get them in the bucket. And I have to get all of these done before it gets dark. And it's just about dark out here too. So I'm gonna have to get this show on the road because I can't leave them out here tonight. And even if I just uh, cut off this plant at the bottom, and take these peppers inside to protect them against the cold temperatures over the next couple of mornings. I can do that too, right? If, if you can't harvest them all, all you have to do is cut this plant, just take off the stems and take the entire, put it in a bucket, take the entire thing inside, okay? You might wanna spray them off just in case there's some ants or something on them, but take them inside and then you can finish uh, taking off all of your little peppers 
when you have a moment and you don't have to worry about them freezing okay because once these peppers freeze they get real soft and sometimes soggy and um i don't like those for tabasco uh, pepper sauce i like for my peppers to be nice and firm and all of these are nice and firm peppers so i love for them to be nice and firm when i put them in the jar because once i put them in the jar the vinegar is going to soften them up already right so i don't want my peppers going in the jar soft i want them to go in firm okay that's just my preference all right all right y'all so see like this one right here how it's all shriveled up Ugh. look at that little shriveled up pepper right there nothing wrong with this pepper okay this is perfect for seeds all right perfect for seeds so this one i won't use this for my pepper sauce but i will take this and save the seeds in fact i'll cut it open so you can see and I don't have on gloves either, so that's another thing. Got to be careful. <laughs> Peppers ain't no joke, right? So I'm just going to split it open so you can see. Look at those seeds in there. Let me open it up some more. Ooh. Look at those seeds in there. So not only can you grow them yourself, you won't ever have to buy the seeds again yes i leave my peppers down for a long time these okay not my jalapenos not those but these tabasco peppers remember we i, I shared with you earlier why i leave them down so long i love the beauty of these peppers as they go through changing all of these different colors and i do wait till the last minute to harvest them out I've never grown six plants at one time. I've probably only done about two or three plants at a time, but never six. But this time I decided to do a lot because I didn't want to take a chance on losing peppers and all of that. And you remember like some of these were survivors. When we lost a whole lot of other peppers, these were our survivors right here. So these survived what they what all of my other plants could not these did right so i'm so happy about that so these seeds i'm gonna keep saving the seeds from these and actually <laughs> i have enough tabasco pepper seeds to last me about 10 years <laughs> so i won't need i don't need to buy tabasco pepper seeds i am gonna be collecting those though so I can make sure I just have a fresh batch of Tabasco pepper seeds on hand. No, you cannot collect seeds from green peppers. You can't collect them from purple peppers, orange peppers. You cannot collect these seeds. You have to wait till these uh, peppers are a bright, bright red. And I wouldn't even collect them if the plant, like this one is kind of soft. I would collect them when they start to soften a bit that's how I know, look, the seeds are completely, div oh no, I got some juice on my finger. It's not good. That's not good. <laughs> Put my finger in the dirt. <laughs> Rub some dirt on it. But um, I would wait until these things are soft, like my other plants over here, like this one, for example. Look at, well, I just showed you one, right? But this one is kind of soft and, I mean, I don't know if you can hear that. Listen, hear that? Look at those seeds, how they just falling out. See there? Look at that. Perfect. Perfect. So these over here, I'll be getting the seeds out of those, okay? But y'all, that's going to do it. I wanted to take you all along with me while I go ahead and take out my Tabasco peppers and just in case somebody wants to know how many peppers mrs a should we grow if we want to get our own tabasco harvest and make some pepper sauce well let me show you this after i take these off the guineas on the roof again i shared a video with you all about our guinea 
during that Broody Mama Diaries episode. And I think somebody thought I only had one guinea. No, I have two. I have a male and I have a female. That's how she, her eggs got fertilized. And so she hatched out 17 of 20 eggs. So we have 17 little keats in there. And the male, he's been hanging out in the chicken house. But let me show you all this. Take the leaves out. So this batch right here is from two plants, okay? Two. I haven't harvested this one right here, which is the third, okay? And that's the fourth right there that I haven't harvested because I'm going to take the seeds from these two. And then this is literally two plants that I'm standing in front of, okay? Now, if you want to do Tabasco sauce and pepper sauce, I'm going to always suggest you do more than one. I know it's a lot of peppers on here, but I'm going to suggest that you do more than one. Why? Well, because what happens if you lose one plant? What happens if you lose one to disease or anything? What happens, right? So it's always good to have a backup if you can. So for me, I have these for harvesting and I do have some for specifically just for seeds only, okay? So those are some options for you. And I do hope that you will give it a try growing your own Tabasco peppers, making your own Tabasco sauce if you like spicy. Or even if you don't and you know somebody who does, oh my goodness, these beautiful colors here make a beautiful jar of peppers. They make a beautiful jar. And so to someone who loves pepper sauce, they would love getting something like that from you, knowing that, hey, you grew the peppers and you made the sauce yourself. Oh, they would love a gift like that, right? So if you know somebody who would love it, trust me, it's well worth growing these peppers yourself and growing enough that if you want to share with somebody, you can. Okay, you all? So that's going to do it for this video. I got to get back to work. I am losing daylight, all right? So y'all, that's going to do it. Thank you all so much again for watching Homestead Hearts. We growing our groceries, y'all. <laughs> we growing our groceries. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. And I will see you all in the next video. Got to get these peppers done before it get dark. I don't want to be out here with a nightlight trying to harvest peppers. And it's cold out here already. It's already cold.